Hi there, this is going to be a tutorial video on how to install XBMC for the Raspberry Pi, which is currently in like a beta test, whatever. Uh, I've already installed it on an SD card and used it on my Raspberry Pi Model B. Uh, works great, didn't have any problems. Um, you got to change the kernel um, memory to um, for 1080p video buffering issues that it's got right now. But other than that, the, the music streaming and, and other video functions and networking work great. So anyway, um, here we go. This is the easy way to do it because there's a lot of command prompt stuff that like all these other guys want you to do to install. But this is the easiest way to do it. If you have used that used SD card or a brand new one or whatever, um, just open up your, this is Windows 7 operating system, by the way, and we're going to uh, open up your CMD, go to your start menu, type CMD, and then right click on the CMD, which is also the command prompt, and select run as administrator, and then type in disk part. All the codes, uh, I'll put in the description for you so that if you don't understand me or something, you can just see what to type or whatever. Then you do list disk, and then uh, in this case we're going to do select disk two. It says selected, clean, and then exit. So and then you're going to want to bring up your. Uh, you're going to also want to download uh, Win32 disk image. I'll also provide the link for that, and then. Uh, so in this case, uh, my regular hard drive is E and the SD card is G, so we select G. We're going to do the path of it, which is this Raspberry Pi image right here. Okay, blah, blah. Then we're going to do right. And then it's going to say, oh my gosh, blah, blah, blah. Hit yes. While it's, while it's going here, it takes a little bit to write the image, but after it's done, um, it's gonna uh, when you first put the SD card in your Raspberry Pi, you're going to want to um, have it connected to the internet because this is just an installer image. So basically, what that means is it's not the entire program. What it does is that when you boot up your Raspberry Pi, um, this is like you're installing with your installer wizard, and it will pop up and just automatically install the rest of the program once you boot your SD card and your Raspberry Pi all together so right successful and then exit and anyway that's as that's how easy it is so now you just disconnect the SD card from your main computer plug it into your Raspberry Pi power that on make sure it's got internet connection the first time you power it on with this image finish the rest of the install it's just super simple and then just set up your networking off of your host computer or whatever you want to do wherever you're gonna pull your stuff from like your music or videos and so I hope this video was a little bit help more helpful than the last one that I did and uh, have a great day